Welcome to a new video. In this video I want to show you the update, the latest update of the files application for Emotion UI 11 on Huawei devices just like my MatePad Pro here and this is how the new files app looks like. In At the bottom we have the browse state, we have the recent tab here and we have the me tab here. So the browse tab has been overhauled. You can see we have now new icons here at the top. They are not taking as much space as the old icon system took. Uh, they are a little bit different here and I think on the tablet specifically they should be like organized or aligned to the center instead of to the left. But um, yeah, it works somehow. It just looks a little bit different here. On a smartphone, you have even the possibility to, to scroll through this list of icons because they only have them uh, horizontally aligned, not vertically anymore. So just like in the previous version, I have the option just to go to my documents, for example. I can see all my documents here. I can go back and uh, do the same for my applications, for example, and have the same functionality basically that I had before. What do you see? What is new is under locations, we have now all our locations, just like for example my internal space on my tablet, where it has a nice little bar at the bottom showing how much space I'm using. And also on the right side, it shows me how much free space I have and how much I have in total, or how much I'm using currently and how much I have in total, how much free space I have, I have to uh, simply calculate then. Then I have the option to go to my drive, which is the cloud drive. So I have the option here to go into my drive. New is here the option that I have centered now sorting. So I can sort by name, by time, by size and type. And notice this little arrow though, they're pointing how it is sorted, ascending or descending. By name, for example, if I press name again, it will go into the uh, descending instead of ascending way. And of course, on the uh, right hand side, I have a button to switch into icon view or into list view, depending on what I want to do. And on the left hand side, I have the option to create a new folder. And here on the top, I have the option to go into transfers. I can see all my downloads and uploads as well. So this is specifically for the cloud drive, my drive called here. Then I have my network neighborhood, which is like Samba shares or SMB shares that you have. And here, for example, uh, there's a uh, MacBook Pro in the network that I can connect to if I want to or other um, yeah, uh, devices on the network. Recently deleted items I can see here. Um, I have the option to see some other sources. I can edit this option here by pressing the edit button and there I can enable which other sources I want to see. Just like for example, if I want to see the download manager, the camera or the music application or Twitter, uh, I can just change it here to say what I want to see and I even can change the uh, the way it is listed in the view. So let's go and click on done here and you can see I have a download and received files, WeChat, QQ and recorder. If I click on recorder for example it shows me all the recordings that I did with the recorder app. And of course here under my tablet if I have a USB stick inserted or something like this it will also show the USB stick or an external drive that you have attached via USB type C with the same way it is showing your my tablet and you can browse in there. If I go into my tablet for example and I go into downloads and I have like some images here some photos that I took earlier and I want to copy a photo I still have the possibility to just press and hold to get a selection and at the top at the bottom I have the option to uh, do something with the file just like for example copying the file. And of course I can go just here then into my tablet again and go into the other folder if I want to. But what I also can do is just click the other uh, location option and this opens up now from the bottom a new view I would say that kind of works like a tree view on desktop computers. So if I go to my tablet here, you can see it is not expanding into a new folder. It is staying in this copy dialog. And I still see my items that I want to copy at the top. I still have the option to create a new folder. And I can of course choose this location as my target location. But if I want to copy this item, let's say to my Huawei share folder, 
go to my Huawei share folder, I just tap and mark this Huawei share folder, I see all the sub um, folders where I can put it in. And I then just say, okay, I want to copy it here. And it has been copied there. If I go to Huawei share, here you can see there is the file. Uh, and yeah, I can click on this to, to view it. Yeah, this is the UI change that has been happening here when it comes to copying and moving files, for example. Of course, in general, also you have always the search option here. You have the possibilities to search for images, videos, uh, docs, audio, installed packages, apps, and archives. So if I search for WeChat, for example, it shows me uh, one item found. If I click on this, I see some pictures that are uh, saved in WeChat. <clears throat> and then, of course, under location, always I have the option to clean up. There's a little cleanup brush here. If I click on this, it's going into the cleanup application of the system itself. And so it is not hiding this under a triple uh, points menu or a hamburger menu anymore. Those uh, options here, they are now clearly visible. So you can just simply click on them, especially sometimes there's just one or two items anyway. So it makes sense to have this. And I really like the edit button here. Then if I go to recents, you can see the recent applications or files I worked with. And here I have, of course, the option to see the file itself. If it's an image file, it just shows me a preview even. And I have like a free dot menu here where I have the option to share or upload to Huawei Drive if I want to. And I can also click on X here, which allows me to say block the source Huawei share or hide this particular recent uh, file if I don't want to uh, have this under recents. This is basically recents and uh, we have of course a search option there as well. Then we take a look at the me tab. So we click on me tab. Here you can see my uh, Emotion UI account or Huawei account. Uh, you can see my cloud storage that I have here. I have like devices that I have connected and I have the option to see my cloud usage that I have currently and I have favorites here as well. I can open up a safe which allows me to protect my privacy data photos, videos, music, and other files for maximum peace of mind. So I can enable this save option. I can say, okay, I want this on my tablet and I can now enter a password for the save. So I have to insert this password again if I want to uh, unlock the device or attach or add something to the save or opening up a file that is in the save. So this is a nice little feature it was there, I think before, but this is a new kind of way where you can get it. Then we have the normal setting options where you can reach the settings of the files application. And here we have various different settings, like for example, auto upload to a drive. We have filtering options for image. So filter out small images in browse images. And I have an option here for the filter size. And of course I have a manage hidden file sources in recent. So if I have like something that I uh, was, was hiding in recents, I can manage those items in here and say I want to unhide them or something like this. Then I have two times uh, show hidden files. It's a bit confusing. I would say they have to do something on this. Uh, one is like for folders that begin with a dot. This is like the Unix way of hiding files or folders or files that begin with a dot are hidden. And the other one is for the no media directories that usually are created if you plug in a USB stick, for example, for the first time vanilla USB stick into your tablet or smartphone, it will automatically create some files and folders. And one of them might be the no media folder folder that will indicate the, the indexing service of Android. Uh, not to index this particular device in terms of photos or video files. We have the option to clear the cache here. We can check for updates and we can take a look at the version number. And as you can see here, this is version 11.01.307. So if you might have a future that I don't have, you might have a newer version than I have already. But this is the new version that I want to show you, a small little overview of the files application. This is not only available for the tablet. It reached me first on the tablet, but it's now also on my Mate 30 Pro. My Mate XS still doesn't have it. Let me check it again. No, it still has the old version of files uh, available. Maybe I can show you the old version of files quickly. If I enable the uh, multi-share collaboration feature and say connect here, then you will see that this is how the old version looked like. 
here you can see the old version of the uh, files application can i go into full screen here yes i can go into full screen this is how the old version looked like of the files application here you can see it has the different categories listed as well um yeah with big spaces in between uh, which is yeah not very intuitive it had like the the number as well here down there for audio docs and videos so you have a estimation of how many video files or what would you have here and here you have the safe as well which is not available anymore and you have the internal space you can see storage used again and network mount but you don't have like another custom applications um possibility to see your recent files of applications so you had to click on apps here and uh, then probably into the apps was there even the possibility i think you had to go into recent and then you had yeah then you had quick access to different um, applications like telegram wechat and so on so this was the possibility here we had a uh, huawei drive uh, was a, was a, was another tab here all together where you can access your huawei drive and the me tab looked like this so also a bit different here indeed that let me check settings you can see settings are a little bit different here as well so this is the old version this is version 11 uh, 13 and yeah, this is basically the overview of uh, this um, option. Let's close this. So I think the new version looks a bit nicer because of this um, yeah, icons here. I don't like this icons here in particular, I have to say. These are really are a bit dumped down, I would say. And especially on the tablet, this is a lot of unused space here. So they could have done something with this. Uh, for the tablet specifically but on the on the normal t uh, smartphone screen i think it looks still good and i think uh, they did a good job in updating the files application what do you think about the files application just write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye